You know, we're feeling uh, pride in, in our accomplishments. Uh, we have a really great young cub that's ready to go to China and join the breeding program there. So I would say it's bittersweet, but yet the overarching uh, emotion is really pride. We have um, FedEx is shipping him special in his own airplane and uh, in a specially uh, made crate. And so we've had the crate here and he's been training, uh, getting used to being in there. Uh, so he'll be good and comfortable. It won't be uh, something unusual for him. And while he's flying, he's gonna have all the creature comforts, all the food, his favorite items, sweet potatoes, apples, pears, and of course bamboo. So I think it's gonna be a, a good flight for him. He gets a more direct route than any other human does here. He's going straight from Washington all the way to Chengdu without stopping. It's nice to see him grow up. I, I'm, I'm, you know, you, you knew it wasn't gonna be forever. And, and, and I think the ultimate purpose is either to breed them for um, either more, more pandas or hopefully released into, into the wild at some point, him or his offspring would, would be, you know, that's the conservation uh, plan. I wanna get some pictures and see him off. Yes, it's gonna be emotional, but we'll get through it. Yeah. <laughs> They're so entertaining, so amusing. Just so cute and cuddly. Just another my favorite animal. We've had uh, giant pandas uh, since 1972 when uh, Cho and Lai made a gift of state to Richard Nixon. And that was seven years before we even had diplomatic relations with the Chinese formally. So we've had a 47 year partnership. Our goal is to have another 50 years or more. There's much work to be done. We're not going to save the species in my career or even in one lifetime. So the idea is to continue working together to create a whole new generation of professionals and conservationists that will keep, keep, this, keep, our, keep going with the work that's needed to help sustain pandas really uh, into the future.